So the last time I flew in this area, I found some strange markings with stones laid out and some strange goings on that I couldn't quite figure out. So I'm going to fly again and this time I have the 360 degree camera attached to the drone so that it's not just me that's looking for something and if I miss something, maybe someone else can actually see what's going on, see what the weird and strange things are here by having a look all around yourself. And if we fly past something and you think, oh, what was that? You can spin round and have a look and see. So if you do see anything a bit strange, a bit unusual, leave a comment to let us know what you've seen and we'll try and do some further investigation. All right, here's a wee flight up then around this strange area. So the birds around this area do tend to act a little bit strangely as well. And this isn't because the drone's in the area, because I've got birds flying about here going a bit crazy. Quite a distance away from the drone and they don't even seem to have any interest in the drone whatsoever. But this is the area up here that last time I flew, there seemed to be some strange goings on. And it's a brighter day today, so... I might get some more information. So here's a kind of brick thingy. Here's a first kind of slightly strange thing. I need to change the settings in this, this drone. They're, they're a wee bit wild. Right, so what did this used to be? Now for anyone who wants to do... Oh, there was a, that was a bird just shot past there. Did you see that? Oh, aye, there are some birds there that are taking a bit. I'll just maybe go up a wee bit higher. Keep out the way of the birds. So, the area here is just right next to Cronbury in East Ayrshire. It's probably on the back road from Auchin Lake to Cronbury. So if you want to look it up, and this, this is also where I, in the, in the region where I, I lost Lassie a couple of years back, she went down for some unexplained reason over this, this mossy area here. And I wandered out to recover her and almost died in the process. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description and I'll probably put a wee link at the end of this video to that as well. But I don't even know if it's a quarry of some kind. But one of the things that I did notice when I've flown here before, if I can find it again, is the the formational maybe need to maybe need to go up quite a bit to, to try and find this, to try and locate the the formation of stones that I presume someone has has laid. It certainly looks like a man-made uh, configuration to me, if I can find it. I know it's in the area somewhere. There we go, is it, is it there? Maybe it's, maybe it's gone away now, and maybe it's not there anymore. It was a configuration of stones in the shape of a cross or an X. Now that seems to have... That seems to have gone... Oh, hold on a minute, no. It's just... It's not there now. Or at least if it is, I can't see it. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. But there was a 
configuration of rocks here. It had to be man-made. It couldn't be. It couldn't have been a natural occurrence. But unless I'm, I'm looking in the wrong place, and maybe because I've got the 360 camera attached to the drone, you'll be able to spot this, this X, this configuration of rocks that I just can't seem to find now. The section of boggy land is called Airds Moss, A-I-R-D-S, Airds Moss, and it's a, it's a floating bog out there that I've actually walked across to retrieve Lassie. So I can't seem to locate those was stones that were here before. Now that seems to be some of the stones just there. Those are very similar to the stones that were used in that strange configuration that I saw the last time I was flying here. Does that mean that they've been moved? There's more of them there. Have they been moved? I was not expecting that. That's a wee bit of a mystery as well. Why would those stones have been moved? Who put them there in the first place? And why has someone taken them away? And for those of you who like big trucks and like machinery, <laughs> I'll just do a pause the video for a second, switch to the seven time zoom. And there we have a closer look at this wee diggity thing. <laughs> As you can see, I'm I'm well up on my uh, machinery. I know, I know, I know what all the machinery is. This diggity thing here. What is it? A bulldozery thing. So for the for those of you who are interested in stuff like that, and there must be a few of you because there are so many videos with millions of views of people going to industrial sites and taking pictures of machinery like that that you must find that kind of thing quite interesting and there's another thing that looks like a conveyor belt so is this some kind of stone quarry that's what it could be right so we're pausing the video again for a second just to bring it back to the times one view and there we go so a terrific telephoto uh, times seven zoom lens camera on the Mavic Three, which I love. But there you go, those stones that were there, and I will link to the the video where I flew over and saw the stones, because that's quite quite strange that they've gone now. And I still don't know. this this brickwork was from I mean obviously there must have been some kind of site here we with some kind of building so what I'll do is I'll just have a wee another wee pause in the video and I can zoom in again on the time seven so there we go so a wee bit of graffiti on it and I can zoom in even further I can zoom it digitally as well is it this here we go so we can zoom digitally. So, aye, red bricks. Must have been some kind of building or something before. Going back to the times one. And there you have it. So, it's a fairly unusual sight because, well, is it? Is it an unusual sight or am I just making a mountain out of a molehill? Because I haven't looked into it to see exactly what this site is maybe if i did it would prove to be nothing out of the ordinary at all so let's have a little zoom in on that part there as well right so 
I don't know what that is. But if I wake around here. Might give us some more information. Right, for any architectural type of people out there or folk, that looks like it's maybe been some kind of bridge in the past or something. Well, I could be talking a load of nonsense. You know that, don't you? Or we zoom in here. Right. So for anybody who, who, who's got an idea what this may have been, for any investigative type people who might want to have a look into it and see what this area may have been in the past, I'd be quite interested in that. I mean, I could dig myself, but I'm too busy doing other things like capturing videos for you guys. <laughs> so maybe some of you could do the investigating to save me doing it. Right, okay. What's that thing there? What is that? Let's have a zoom in on that. What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Just a big round shaped kind of rock or something. Hmm, once again. A bit weird. So let's have a, a fly down here. And all that is is a, a sign for the truck drivers or lorry drivers or us Brits to tell you which road to take. Strange that they're telling you to take the right road. The right hand road instead of the left hand road. However. And that sign will just be a reverse of the one we saw. You can look at that in the 360 version of this video. I'm not going to zoom in on that fella there. For privacy reasons. Right, 20% left in the battery, which means I've probably not got a lot of time to fly over that. Wee bit of, wee bit of water there. Can we just fly around it? Level is low. There the we go. Will return to the home point in 10 seconds. Well, I'll just cancel that and I can make my own way back to the home point. There's that lily pads in there. Could be a few froggies if that is lily pads. Right, down to 16%. So let's 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 bring the Wallace home. Because I've already been out wondering about this area. To bring Lassie back. I don't want to have to go and trog out again to bring the Wallows back. So here he is. And there we have a absolutely low battery. So I won't spend any more time. I'll get him in and land him. Usual battle cry from Windswept Robert. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like me to look at some other places for you to have a look at, leave a comment to let me know where. Till next time, cheerio with the new.